wanted another free kick, he didn't get it. And here's Saar. Big goal he's delivered there. It's a good challenge that time by Longley, getting there ahead of Diaz. issues to face as well they've switched to a, a back three oh. Conte looking a bit more like his old self in his interview with death for the pressure from Teo Hernandez <laughs> Salamak has got it away perhaps hard to pick it up from Romero Tottenham hunted the ball back got it Milan have tightened up in their last if he really showed his quality when they loaned him Fury is on BT Sport box office on the this is a chance for him to maybe get a and you've got caught out that's fair enough for Tottenham's point of view that neither one of those youngsters get a little knock or something doesn't Long lay to Pat Sarr. Hoping for a better second half for his side as they look to over. Three. And Jimmy Greaves. Capable of doing that, but they're way. Lay out. Come out wide where he's going to have everything inside him. Him. Diaz again. Look at this skipping. I'm receiving the ball with his back to play. Good play, but. Milan. It's not a part of his name at all. But, uh, sort of energy out of you. He had a for defence. Saar. We see Kulisewski running at him, giving him a problem, but he was at his back to play to him. To play it in. Richarlison lays it off, and Saar! Well, that would have been a story, wouldn't it? If the youngster making his Champions League debut had delivered when he took a deflection on the way through it. Nicely for Sars on the ambition. Saar powered through those. No way through. Saar picked that up. Back huffing his defense. Still full of running at the age of 30. Rated enough to actually get anything out of the game, I don't, I don't feel. But uh, certainly looking at those chances, it could have been three. A 3 0 deficit would have been disastrous. So.